<laughs> Hello, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man. And today I'm doing a video from the, uh, the Intercoastal. And uh, this is not my favorite video topic, but one of my angels asked me this question. So I'm going to present this as a topic. Like I said, not my favorite video topic, but if you had to pick three crystals, which three crystals would you use? And I don't like this question because <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously going to say every crystal. Every crystal. Where every crystal? <laughs> this might be one of the shorter videos, but I'm going to elaborate why if I had to pick any three, any three crystals out of every crystal on this entire planet, which one would I use? Can you guys guess at least one or two of them? It should be really obvious which guess one or two of my, uh, if I had to pick. And like I said, this, this video has me laughing. I laughed before this video started, uh, talking with my angels and I'm just like, I don't, <laughs> this is, uh, I'm not going to say, because I know some people only have to pick a certain amount of, uh, crystals before they wear them. And I'm just like, oh, I've had a pick before. <laughs> Okay, because this this topic it's 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 outside my comfort zone because I don't feel like wearing just three crystals. <laughs> but I get that some of you, like I said, have to wear. Sometimes you only have to wear one or two crystals for the people who only have a few. But let me start this because I let you guys kind of take a gap in guessing in which crystal might I use myself if I only had to pick three crystals. The first crystal. Can you guess it? Black tourmaline. Yay! Why would I pick black tourmaline out of every single crystal? It's the most powerful gemstone. It's well, essentially, yeah, it's the most powerful gemstone. It protects you from everything. Not 100% of everything because we're on the earthen plane. And the thing about black tourmaline is black tourmaline is a crazy protection crystal. It's stronger than any other protection crystal to help protect you. Now, a lot of people don't know the true power of black tourmaline. This is a versatile crystal. Black tourmaline is the kind of crystal to basically, it'll it'll block EMF, it'll stop electric magnetic frequencies from causing radiation within you, and it prevents people's radiation within you as well. People's radiation being negative energy. Now with black tourmaline, if I only had to pick one crystal and I was running out the door, or uh, let's just say, if you get to take one crystal with you to the afterlife but you get you get to take nothing with you i hope you guys know that don't be attached to any earthly object i have all these beautiful crystal jewelries that i make on my website floridastoneman.com but at the end of the day i am not a product of this world only thing at the end of this day that we have is god and his love most importantly everything else comes after that but god always comes first the most high comes first so think about if i had to pick one crystal even if, it, if this video topic was you have to pick if I had to pick one out of three, the one crystal that I would pick is black tourmaline. Like, flat out black tourmaline. This crystal blocks people from psychic attacking you. It helps you get freakishly ahead. Like, if you notice the most, I mean, the most popular item on my website is the black tourmaline because people won't just get one black tourmaline necklace. They'll get several because they care about their family and they see how it works for them. So everyone gets black tourmaline for their family members as well. This crystal is a life changer. You don't... I'm, I can safely say you haven't experienced true spirituality until you worn black tourmaline. It's true spirituality being you don't have to worry about what your enemies are doing. You don't have to worry about what entities are doing, who's lurking, etc. Black tourmaline blocks 100% of everything. It blocks. Black tourmaline blocks. You can think of black tourmaline as a blocker. So black tourmaline does not discriminate against any form of negative energy. It stops everything. 100% of everything. It just fully stops it in its tracks like it stops it before it gets to you when you combine other crystals with black tourmaline such as uh black obsidian and black onyx guess what it makes the black tourmaline's job easier and stronger so these crystals work together that's why i essentially say that i would not i would not just do three crystals and right when i start doing this video it gets super windy i hope you guys can hear me if not there's captions but i'll uh, I'll recap this towards the end of the video and in other videos as well. But this video is really important because it tells you three crystals Florida Stone Man would use himself. So Black Tourmaline, I can't have, I mean, I can, I'm going to keep talking about it. So Black Tourmaline unblocks spiritual gifts because if you have something inside your chakra, like a parasitic entity, host, cords, attachments, 
dark energy that's been there for a long time. Black tourmaline works in a mechanism. It works as a mechanism. So it has different stages of black tourmaline. It's not just black tourmaline just protects. It does a whole bunch. It vacuum it cleanses. Black tourmaline, if you're cleansing and charge incorrectly, I highly suggest you use the power of the, of the sunlight to cleanse and charge your black tourmaline. But black tourmaline, it works. I've talked about how black tourmaline works in depth before, but one, black tourmaline works as a barrier. Assuming your black tourmaline is cleansed and charged, black tourmaline projects. Whether you wear it on your receptive side or not, it projects a shield. It projects a shield against radiation. It prevents, a ra it prevents radiation from your enemies as well. So it's making sure nothing gets in. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Any dark entity, they'll try. And what? And this is a cool analogy that I'll have. Entities can't do melee attacks on you. They can do ranged attacks because I like to relate my uh, crystals to video games sometimes because it helps you guys learn. But when uh, if you have a warrior in the video game and the warrior can get you up close, entities can't do that anymore. Now they have to be the ranger. <laughs> they have to shoot arrows from far away and it takes some time and it takes arrows time to get to you and that's why a lot of the arrows don't make it to you or sometimes some of the arrow arrows might get in so with black tourmaline when that shield comes down sometimes or when the tourmaline's not cleansed and charged enough or sometimes something does get in when that arrow is in you the black tourmaline removes it so any negativity that does make it to you it's sponged into the gemstone so it works as a barrier and as a sponge. So you're wearing that crystal and it's unblocking chakras because it's vacuuming neg negative energy. So let's just say you're having all these problems. You put black tourmaline and you take whatever problem you're having, associate it with a chakra and then put the black tourmaline on that chakra. Let's just say your visions are blocked because a lot of people message me whenever I do those vid videos about visions. People are like, okay, I, I can't have a single vision. Take black tourmaline, put it on your third eye, removes all blockages regarding the third eye. It even grounds energy centers that are overactive, preventing you from actually grounding uh, psychic visions into reality. And it helps you in that manner as well. So it does, black tourmaline does pretty much everything. So that's a really important crystal. So if I had to pick one crystal, it would be black tourmaline. So anything that does make it in, it's, vac it's vacuumed into the stone. The thing is you want to cleanse and charge your tourmaline. So it's doing more of a barrier effect versus a sponge effect because if it's doing the sponge effect it means its energy is starting to uh go down so i highly suggest you cleanse and charge it with the sunlight but black tourmaline will work as a barrier then when the barrier kind of comes down uh, it works as a sponge to remove the arrows prevent the arrows remove the arrows once the black tourmaline is full then you'll notice the stone breaks or something nearby the stone breaks which means it's overwhelmed threat okay the next thing, the next crystal, and I really thought about this one because the first one was easy to me. Like, okay, black tourmaline's the most obvious crystal I could ever, like if I had to pick one crystal, black tourmaline. Because it allows you to go through this world not being phased by negative energy. Like, when you get a necklace, a black tourmaline necklace from Florida Stoneman, floridastoneman.com, your entire life changes. Your entire life will change. You, Read the testimonies. Everything changes. You live in a new world. You live in a new reality. It does everything it says it does, but you have to experience it. And that's why I don't tell you guys too much about what it should do for you in particular. It's more so a crystal that when you wear it, you experience it. You come up with your own experience and you share it with others. Now, the next crystal I'm going to talk about is Green Aventry. If I had to pick a second crystal, it would be Green Aventry. For some of you who have gotten Green Aventurine from me already, you already know why. Green Aventurine is the luckiest crystal known to man. Green Aventurine <laughs> is lucky in every case scenario. If you pair Green Aventurine with Black Tourmaline, now you're getting lucky because you're getting lucky regardless, but Green Aventurine is protective as well. What do you mean? It's, it's, it can open gifts by chance. If you stumble upon some kind of knowledge, that wouldn't have normally come to you, but you accidentally found something out about how to open the gift, or you got lucky in doing a certain exercise, you got lucky with doing a certain thing, and you find out that that's how you open your gift. Green Aventurine opens spiritual gifts by chance as well. Green, Green Aventurine is a lottery winning crystal. It helps you win the lottery, it helps you win Powerball, and I do have winners, by the way. I'm not gonna say who they are. One of them made himself very uh, 
very known, but uh, the rest I will keep because that's them. That's their privacy and they deserve that. Ow. There's no limitations to green adventuring. That crystal, especially when you get it from floridastonia.com, which I will have green adventuring on the website. I have cuffs that I'm going to start uploading pictures of uh, some of the winners, what they win when they have the cuff, but that's the luckiest crystal ever. You wear green adventuring and when you go out, certain people will show up in your life or not show up in your life because you're wearing green adventuring. It makes you very lucky. Like, the luckiest person on this entire planet. You will be so lucky. Like, let's just say uh, a nail is sticking up out of the road and you're driving. Somehow, just by laws of physics, that nail won't, like the spiritual laws of physics, that nail won't get stuck in your tire or like you'll just miss it by a millimeter or some kind of air will blow it out of the way because you're wearing the green adventuring and it makes everything so lucky. It just, it's, it's an exciting, happy, beautiful gemstone. It's full of luck. It heals all traumas as well. Uh, green adventure is amazing. Green adventure is absolutely amazing. It's, it just makes life vibrant and lucky. It's good for love. It's good for luck. It's good for protection. It's good for everything. Even if you were to just have a green adventure, uh, some of its energies can act like black tourmaline, not in the way that it prevents, like, it shields and deflects, but it can dodge 100% of anything by chance. If it's just in your luck to have that dodge by chance, it'll help you dodge stuff and it'll help you win stuff as well. Like. When you're wearing green adventuring, it's not too common to see a $100 bill just blow it at you in the wind. You're like, oh, cool, $100 bill. And you give it to a homeless person or something like that. But the thing is, green adventuring is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Now, then the third crystal, what is, and I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to, ah, what's the third crystal? What kind of crystal am I going to pick next? Because I only could pick three. And if I had to pick three, the third one I actually thought about, uh, it's kind of hinted. Clear quartz. Why clear quartz? Why would I pick clear quartz out of every gemstone? <laughs> That's a good question. What did I teach about clear quartz in my other videos? What did I teach about clear quartz? Well, clear quartz can be any crystal. If you have the power of intention, which most people don't. Most people are, they're, I mean, what do I mean by most people don't have the power of intention? What does that mean? It means that most people do things unintentfully. They do things by, because they are not thinking. They do things without being careful. They do things without truly thinking things out. If you are intentful, if you are focused, because some people have intention, but some people are not focused or committed. So if you commit any gemstone's energy into clear quartz and you meditate on it, let's say if you don't have Mexican fire agate, you meditate, with the, you meditate with your, in your mind's eye, Mexican fire agate into the clear quartz for 31 days. Now that clear quartz might as well be Mexican fire agate because it's channeling those energies. That's really cool. That's a little secret too. Not everyone can do that, but if you have the gift to do that, because like I said, that does take a lot of intention and that will help you. Clear quartz is the most powerful crystal. It amplifies other crystals. It, uh, it amplifies other crystals. I'm hearing voices. It amplifies, and those are just people above me, not the angels, but it amplifies intentions. It amplifies good energy. It amplifies positive energy. It amplifies everything that's good supposed to come to you. Clear quartz is so good that even science uses clear quartz. I don't, I don't know any biologist who does not use clear quartz. And I like to tie science in with spirituality because I have a degree in biology, so might as well talk about that. This is a, a Disclaimer, this is a spiritual video. I'm only teaching spiritual knowledge, but I think biology is pretty cool. So I'll, I'll always talk about biology and science and different ways it applies. But clear quartz is awesome. Clear quartz, it can be every any crystal. It can act as any crystal. It can, it can do anything. So must I say more about clear quartz? It can do anything. It's really cool. It's an awesome crystal, but there's three crystals in this video. Black tourmaline, because of, of its ways of protection, unblocking, allowing blessings in. It just fully changes your reality. Green adventuring because of how lucky you get. Once you're the luckiest person in the world, everything around you changes. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Everything is a lot more fun. For people who wear clear quartz, I mean, wear uh, green adventuring, people are like, wow, life's a lot more fun now. That's the energy of winning when things are fun. You're not gonna win and be so serious like, oh, 
I have to win. No, the energy of winning, if you if you pay attention to people winning in the casino, they're not stressed out or bent. Bent out of shape or anything. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, it's a fun game. And then the people trying to win, like, I, I have to win. <laughs> that's a secret about green adventuring, by the way. It, it has an energy of being fun, and that's why it heals chalas as well. It heals the, the heart chakra, but... The last crystal is clear quartz because self-explanatory it amplifies other crystals and clear quartz will also act as any crystal as well so if you have any questions guys ask them in the comment section i read all your questions some of them take me some time to read sometimes but i do get back to them until then i'll see you guys next time ciao